definitely look it up. That alters the plot completely. I'm I'm sure you are not overstating that at all. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do previously on Max Payne. Uh, I checked all the options. Everything should be fine. I am Max Payne. My wife and daughter were murdered. It had something to do with the designer drug V. I transferred from the NYPD to the DEA. Went undercover to find their killers. I got too close. I was framed for murder. With nothing to lose, I went after the Mafia during the worst of winter storm in the century. My first stop was Vinnie Gagnetti. A low life in the habit of taking his frustrations out on underage call girls. I left him bleeding in an alley after I'd gotten what I wanted out of him. I met Mona Sachs in a gothic nightclub, Ragnarok. She was a hired killer. We were after the same man, her sister's sadistic husband. I was drawn to her for all the wrong reasons. I made a deal with Vladimir Lem. The Russian was a smooth operator. He helped me get to the mob boss I was after, but I was in over my head. The government was involved. A mystery man called Alfred Woden told me the name of my real enemy, Nicole Horn. Woden and Horn were both members of a secret society, the Inner Circle. She was behind V, behind everything. While working for the DA, my wife had accidentally seen papers that incriminated Horn. Wood promised to take care of the charges against me if I took Horn out. Deputy Chief Jim Bravora of the NYPD was trailing me by the empty shell casings that I left behind. Gunshots made me deaf to the sirens, but they couldn't drown the sobs of my dead wife. Mona sided with me against Horn. She took a bullet for that. Her body disappeared behind closing elevator doors. I killed Horn. I gave myself up to the police. I had enough evidence against Woden to know that he'd keep his promise. I lied to myself that it was over. I was still alive. My loved ones were still dead. It wasn't over. It wasn't over. Hey, creature, how's it going? Like, look at that. You would have to do all this. You would have to do detective, art boiled, and then dead on arrival. Because these two are bonus thingies. It's this one? This one is difficult. This one is different. Yeah, but this one is kind of a weird... He's dead, Joe. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, third one, you're sorry. <laughs> it's dead, Joe. Dead on the rail. Okay. I'm sure it's more like... A new... Um, how can I say it? This, like... A different view on an ending. Maybe it's an alternate ending, but I don't think that it... Alters the plot completely. There's words that I will not use like that. Alters the plot completely. Come on. We'll see. <laughs> God. I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. 
Pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's been shocked. Start two large four IVs, get him to ICU. He's dead. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, Max Payne 3 is that good because when it came out I didn't hear a lot of good things about it. I heard a lot of meh things about it. And when a big game like Max 3 is just meh, <laughs> it doesn't really interest me. Hey guys, mirrors. Mirrors in a 2003 game. That's like the last time you'll see that. Max, what's going on? Whoa! Oh. Max, there. About what happened? I would fuck her. Max Payne! Drop your weapon! NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Max! There was a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Yeah, that's what I saw, that it wasn't really as dark, and it really didn't look interesting at all. It just looked so generic. And nobody said anything, and I looked at a, a Let's Play of about... Well, a streamer that I was watching at the time, maybe a couple of hours in the beginning of the game. And look fucking boring. Like, I'm not that into, uh, like, shooter games. I like a good story. So maybe, maybe it has a good story, but the setting and the style was just... buttons uh, I didn't play GTA 4 but I'd be surprised that it's a master freeze NYPD found him masterpiece a masterpiece I'm not even sure Baldur's Gate is a masterpiece. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> GTA 4? Everybody raves about GTA 5. 
Dude, by the way, you're the first person who ever put GTA 4 above Vice City and GTA 5. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel so She's good. She's here to kill me. Winter No, what I'm talking about is people playing on console telling me that. Most of my friends and the people I hang out with I just play console games. Save, yeah, saving could be nice. Uh, F5? Okay. The countryside was sickly pretty. The sun setting on a sweet summer day. Rain sparkling. I said the follow up, the follow up on the stories in the first game. Ah, the Pink Ruby. Bird Mental Institute. Yeah, I'm gonna check the, the kids to be from. hospital wardens. The flesh. The flesh. I think I died. I think I'm dead. I don't know. I don't know. Death is coming. It's coming. They're here. They're here. Get away. Get away. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> they said I wouldn't escape mental patients. Diagnosis? Paranoid schizophrenic. You are insane. Psychotic. You have to eat plenty of pills to get better. They lied that I had killed my girlfriend. John Mira came to mock me in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> the flamingo was with him. Mira talked more on that television. Mira claimed my girlfriend had turned evil, joined him. She has died her head. I smashed the mirror. I'd kill them all. Address Stay unknown. Tuned as address unknown continues. Okay, so I thought that, like, in the, at the end of the first game, I was like, did I miss other address unknown? Because I thought there were more than one. But it might be in this game. I think I remember this game maybe more than the first, or that this... I think I preferred this game. There's just more cool stuff. Castling insurance companies, because your home is your castle. For more information, call now. 555-CASTLE. Hey, bum fuzzled game. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of Twin Peaks. It, it wasn't the first game, but well, clearly these guys are fans of Twin Peaks. These are the guys who made um, Alan Wake, <laughs> Alan Wake, which is essentially a ripoff on. Jeez, even in stream I can't come. In. <laughs> Thirty seconds commercial commercial ends, drops into the stream, and it's a commercial in the game. It's just because I wanted to zoom in on it. Americans Avenger for the payback time. To order now, call 555 Gun and you will receive a. The music might be a bit too high. It's good, but come on. It's worth of ammunition absolutely free. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh. 
Max Heat and Laura Norder in Max Heat 7. Late night adult entertainment after midnight. Pleased to meet you. That's pretty adult and we just to kill everyone we see in this game. Super violent. A guy's, uh, a girl on TV is like, Ooh, ah. Ooh, too hot. <laughs> I have no gun taste, I'm anti-violence. Who's the man with nothing to lose? Who's the grimiest cat busting metaphor spewing avenging badass in the ghetto? That's right. Dick Justice. Justice. Oh, that's it. Sing, sing, cleaning products. After dirty business, come clean with us. Dial 555 <laughs> clean. That's 555 clean. Clean sing, cleaning products. The choice of crime scene cleanup services. Voskonovich, how's it going? Oh boy! I don't mean to brag, but give me a bat and a zombie head, and I'll Random game box, yes! I'm just time. finishing up on this. Oh, Once it loops around, oh, which takes a while, Wake it seems. Me up when you're done trying to impress me. An army of freaking zombie demons from outer space. <sighs> and a whole lot of cartoon kung fu butt kicking. <laughs> The adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Hey, Riz! Wow. In the Brooklyn School for the Blind, we know that seeing is not the same as believing. The Brooklyn School for the Blind, our doors are open. Hi, you've called Dangerous Liaison. Call 555-PSSY when you want to do more than just talk. Dangerous Liaison, our girls are eager to hear from you. Mm. Interventum, 600 milligrams, a serious painkiller for serious pain. When I got shot in the line of duty as a police officer, <laughs> Ineffectum was all I took for the pain. <laughs> Interventum kills your pain. Interventum, 600 milligrams, a serious painkiller for serious pain. <laughs> Raconteur magazine says it is the best costume drama since the tragic affairs of Jonathan Nightingale. We'll get Ellen there. Says it has more melodrama than the award-winning A Sudden Loss of Innocence. Silk and Lace gives it five handkerchiefs. Lords and Ladies continues with all new <laughs> episodes. Castling Insurance Companies, because your home Are we is done? Castle. For more information, call now. Five, five, five. Man, we haven't looped it already. Okay, I think that's it, right? Or it's just random cuts, random ads at this point. This week, television is as fun as mirrors. Two days and two nights non-stop. The cult series, Address Unknown. All the episodes, all the madness, in our return to Sender Marathon. <laughs> okay. While well, we continue to watch these, I'll check for the box. Let's see, I'll try to find a box that way. Is this seat taken? <laughs> Americans Make Avenger 9mm handgun when it's too late <laughs> to protect your loved ones. No, no, no. I picked up that box Avenger like I think I just I just took it. <laughs> because I was working at um, the place that I quit when I started my own business. We moved like three times, but the first time we moved, where we were was like in a um, commercial um, a mall and we did sell a couple of, of games but when we when we closed out 
we just took whatever games that were left. We just took them all. So that, this was Daika Town. Nobody wanted it. <laughs> Even I w didn't want it. I never, I never played Daika Town. I played like the first two levels maybe, and I was like, e okay. But I've heard that there's a, a patch that really, really helps the game. Highly recommend it. And I wanted to like it. I mean, I'm not the guy who just wants to shit on games because people want because people shit on this game. I legit wanted to like this game, and I legit think this is not that bad of a game. Uh, from John Romero, the legendary co-creator of Wolfenstein 3D, The Doom. Oh, the it's because it says the Doom series, but it's the Doom series. The Doom trademark. Heretic, Exen, Quake, and now Daikatana. Will you be ready? Too highly trained sidekick to watch your back, which is a problem because escort mission up your ass in this game. More than 50 superior enemies, 25 glorious weapons to collect and utilize, 24 huge level. That's not a lot of levels, 24. That's just. That, that's not a lot of levels. They, they're huge, but. Superior artificial intelligence. Including dialogue between characters, GL accelerated 30 bit graphics, and special real time lighting effects, killer multiplayer, 18 year no name, songs in MP3 format. Battle through time as Hiro Miyamoto with Mikiko, Abiara, and Superfly Johnson. Yes, Superfly Johnson at your side. That's the name of the guy. Deadly weapons in your face, creatures, and a wicked music score. In a skull cracking adventure. In the Brooklyn School for the Blind, we know that seeing is not the same as believing. The Brooklyn School for the Blind, our doors are open. Hi. Oh, no, I don't want to out tab out of this. So it doesn't say here uh, he's gonna make you a bitch or anything, right? No. It's I kind of like um, these side panels. Like on one side you have the description of the game, and on the other side you have a couple of keywords: interactive, sidekick, superior, artificial intelligence, hardcore single player, intense multiplayer, uh, 3D first person gaming, and below here you have 25 weapons, 50 plus enemies, 24 levels, span 4 time periods. Kind of cool information. Anyways, I'm gonna play this on stream eventually with the mod patch, whatever that makes it playable someday. Laser disc? Is it floppy disc? No, no, this is CD. It's VHS. <laughs> It's a zip drive. <laughs> Sponge cards. Base, how's it going? <laughs> I like it with just chaos everywhere. Oh, okay. Marathon. Hello, hey. hello. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. This what happened out there? You did it. Stick. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, the ride, man. Bullshit! Huh? Uh-oh. Whoa! In the elevator! It was my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. 
until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Wow, I shot one bullet and now I lost deeper. my guns. Literally one bullet in the head of a guy, that's it. That's what my tutorial, that was my tutorial on how to shoot. Hey, we lost all our painkillers for some reason. Fuck that. And I'm not even full, I should have healed myself at that point. Or I just started. I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. Winters? Oh, okay, we're flashing backwards now, okay. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. Did we need to do this? It. Did we need to it start later? It could drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Where are those extra units! Call the Central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. Weren't you there? I mean, they were okay. The same fight as normal guys. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there. Acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. Like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. Are you, are you a cop, uh, Bosco? Because <laughs> I, I doubt that it's the... That is the most boring job in the world. <laughs> There's a lot of job I would... Like, I would do... I would do cop before a lot of other boring jobs. And maybe it was boring a couple of years ago, but I don't think it's boring anymore. And I think it's about to become one of the worst job ever. <laughs> I like the physics. Yeah, this game, it was like the Avoc engine was, was a big, uh, big thing. <laughs> All the physics. All the physics! My friend is a high school teacher who tells us about school. I haven't heard it in my life. I remember you first said that Molotov guy, that was it. This game got. yeah. for being repetitive, so they might not have as many boss fights. 
<laughs> would you do consumer ID phone support? Well, I don't think that's a boring job. It might be a bad job. Okay, where the fuck do I need to go? Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep <laughs> oh, I knew that. There's no way to deal with the past. I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. I think this game is just easier than the first one, if I remember correctly. So here, if I press the right mouse button, even if I'm running, he's not gonna jump like in the first game. That was annoying. He's flashing his badge. decided to take a piss at the same time. In a situation like mine, you can only think in metaphors. They had killed the love of my life. They were going to pay. A boy! I don't mean to brag, but give me a bat in a zombie head, and I'll hit a home run every single time. A girl! Yawn. Where's the action? Man, this game starts slow. NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. What happens if I kill After him? you, detective. Herb's disguise didn't fool me. He was leading me into a trap. Hmm. So I've shot him before. Ha! Oh! Ah! Oh! Whoa, 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 It recharges? It recharges. Yeah, this game is easier than the first one. Okay, how do you... I think you do this. Okay. And it even doesn't use any... of the bullet time doing that. This doesn't use any bullet time. Off 
than anything when they do that. It's an insult. That's what it is. We're trying to clean the place. They should have more sense than to bleed on the floor. That's the ticket. We should find a way to kill them without spilling any blood. You know, gas them or poison or something. <laughs> I feel sadistic today for some reason. It's kind of the perfect game for me. Like I press once, and I, I don't know. When we're out of here, there won't be a shred of evidence for the cops to find. Just a ghost story. gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. Ah. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happened to you, anything comes up, just whistle, and I'll be there. You have no new messages. Man, all these things you can open, that's crazy. Too many things to open. Wait, wait, wait. Enough chit chat. Finish her! Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can. NYPD, drop them! Her. Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, <laughs> dude, you killed her, fucker. With the death of a woman, I couldn't save her. No, you. It, not only you couldn't save her, her, you are. I mean, you're not the reason she died. She would have died anyways. No, no, Max, you're the reason she died. <laughs> What's the aiming on that? That's bullshit. 
the guns feel a little better than the original. And the aiming, uh, they're less accurate than, than the first one. Oof, six bullets in this? Nope. Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! Ah, oh, come on! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. Um. Okay. My backup had arrived. But the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. That's it. What kind of gun do I have here? I have to go with this. This is way less accurate than the, the original game. Shooting stays on the ground. No. We're working together on this. You got sloppy paid. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. 
The senator... Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winnison's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version. Be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant. Vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation. Schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, feared that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down at the entrance hall. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to present my Spain, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Stop it! Too much! Run! No, stop it! God damn it! Blood time is weird in this game, it seems. It's essentially free bullet time all the time. Someone was talking on the other line. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. Oh, five is a Max? Oh, I can't even... I love you, baby. Okay. Vlad wow. was a perfect gentleman, reassuring his girlfriend. Someone other than Annie. I'm not sure if, you're, uh, if you were friendly or not. You were not. <laughs> Seems like he was about to talk to me or something. Captain Baseball Bat Boy's arch nemesis. That's more like it. Bicycle Helmet Girl has been kidnapped by the villainous Maxwell's demon. Get your hands off me, you ugly freak. <laughs> to save her, Captain Baseball Bat Boy must battle through a horde of demons' minions. The freaking zombie demons from outer space. <laughs> Bases loaded. <laughs> Fastball! <laughs> Ugh, foul ball! Captain 
baseball bat boy has hit a home run. But can he find Maxwell's demon's secret lair before the game is over? <laughs> find out in the next episode of the Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy. such sights to show you. Hey, DRS, thanks for this. Many sounds at the same time. Okay. Jesus Christ, apocalypse now. Got some heavy shit here. Leave them nothing. Hey, be on the lookout. The Russians are sneaky bastards. Winston would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. <laughs> there you go. Teeth. The whole set for a tooth. The only way to do it. Hey, Chip, one of ours, we go dental on him. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Vinny's the boss. Half of the time, he's too busy playing with his toys. Gun business is our business. Ours. I don't <coughs> care who says otherwise. We're in the gun business. Right. What can you do? We have such sights to show you. Stole your thunder. DRS stole my thunder. Breed Trog 16 poop. <laughs> hey, base. Thanks for the sub. I think this game will be longer than the first game. Just because I listen to all these banter. You don't have to. But all these banters, all these shows on TV will make this game a much longer game than the first one. The game keeps stopping the first time at the work. At the worst fucking time, motherfucker. What's going on? What does it do? I remember doing that in the game. I just can't remember why it does that. Ow. And, yeah, and the game I think gives you uh, as much painkiller as you need. So you might as well use them. Like on corpses, everywhere. They'll just give you the painkillers you need. So might as well use them. Oh wow, look at this shit. Six? I was maxed at five last time last time. What the fuck is this bullshit? Fuck you. Where's the exit? When he reloads, Max, my friend, it was fun for a it's moment. It's reloading, but my gun doesn't have unlimited ammo. If you can, hurry. Fuck off.
as a vehicle. That's good. Die! That's what I should have used. The lad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer if it wasn't too late already. Gnitty, the return of Vinny. 
You are not even trying! He's quite different from the first Hang game. Hang on, Vlad. Whatever. Max! I'm Didn't coming. he have black hair? Pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hit a truck! Shut up! Shut up and What do they do, these mods? Calrific, hey! thanks for the follow. You fucking pay for this Russian, you fucking pay! My hero! Yeah, I'm sure we can see you saved my life! Stuff like that. I could kiss you! Any cognitive criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout honor detective, I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Chapter 3, The Depths of... Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The fish of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. Matthew. He had framed me for his murders. <laughs> I was hiding in it. Hey, thanks for the bits, Gucci man. Yes, you just made it. I'm gonna take a break. Okay, though. Don't tell. Tonight. One night, smiley I will face. Yes. Do a knock at my door. I want to listen to the... Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend, to save her. I shut up, man. I'm listening to the program. Continue where you were. Ah. Was it that? Were we done? Deep motel. One night I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. I descended into a mystery, 
desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend. So it stops her. here. Actually stopped at that moment exactly when I decided to go to the door. God damn it! It's always like that. Whoa. Anyway, I'll take a break here, and we will be back in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned for more Max Payne 2. Saga. You begin the adventure as Luke Skywalker, battling through the icy caves and plains of Hoth with your blaster and lightsaber. Then, jump into your snow speeder to defend the rebel base against the amazing Imperial walkers. As Han Solo, you must fight your way to the rebels' echo base to get to the Millennium Falcon. Escape Imperial forces by seeking safety in an asteroid field. As Chewbacca, you head for Cloud City in search of Han's old smuggling buddy, Landau Calrissian. And of course, all the action is accompanied by digitized sound effects and music, all taken directly from the movie. In a world gone mad, an unlikely hero must convince those around him to take a different path, even if he has to get in and push. <laughs> Taking the best elements from Lucasfilm Limited's Star Wars movie, the engaging heroes, the horrific aliens, the terrorizing Imperial forces, the thrilling flying and fighting, the strange settings, and the mystifying powers of the Force, and adding interactivity. Players can choose to be Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, or Chewbacca to do battle with the dark side of the Force and determine the fate of the galaxy. Super Star Wars features 14 levels, each crammed with huge detailed graphics and smooth realistic animation super star wars is a hit from the burning deserts of tantooine the maze-like interior of a sand crawler the moss eisley bar to your final confrontation with the awesome death star all the action from the movie is here but the outcome is up to you do you have what it takes to take on the empire find out with super star wars available now
Come back. Yay, physics! <laughs> yes, yes. I never played the Messiah though. I think I bought it on Steam a while ago. We'll play it eventually. It's very uh, it's interesting. Always a game I wanted to play since it came out. No, we're not skipping that. Yay, again! Max is moving. Look at this shit. Whee! Max! This you can skip, that's fine. Don't make the use button the skip button. Where was the cutscene? Max! Like, I went around here and got the cutscene. No? I know this. Max, sorry I woke you. But, 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 it's but. It's a secret. You must tell no one. Max! You better answer that. Max. 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 Oh, Max button. Max. 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 You don't need a lawyer, just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, <laughs> isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Okay. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it down. Put it down now. Drop your weapon. Shut up! Hey! My hero. Waking 
not the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy magic way out. But you are awake. woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Find Stop. out what was going on shooting at me. Keep forgetting to say. I've called the police. They're coming to take you away. Cool. Something was barring the door from the other side. Oh. Won't. Get out. Get out. Is there an old lady with a shotgun in there? Do I have to kill her? No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. Okay. I, I didn't want to Yes, you can kill he her. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. And where's your other gun you're saying that you have? Give me the gun, uh, give me the gun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No? Okay, I want to see if I can kill you. Out, or by God, I'll shoot back! You can kill her. Eh, that's it? No. What? Why did we come here? Just for guns? For this, you can't hide. Winterson. Max here. I'm at home. Cleaners have hit the building. I'm the target. They've come in numbers. I need help. Okay, hang on. We're on our way. We'll get you out. Hurry. At this point, Max knew we should have had his leather jacket treated. This rain was gonna ruin it. My lady. My lord, I came to see you, but now that I'm here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely I... My lord, I should go. Should anyone see us together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady! <laughs> hey James, how's it going? After the break, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies. <laughs> Here, they're spying on me. They're, they're listening.
person and they spy him. And all of a sudden, well, we hear him. The TV's not on. Ah, that was a dessert he go. Signal. Oh, well. The signal. The fools him. <laughs> yeah, yes, my time, Lord. No, my lady. <laughs> Turn it back on. Mm. Nice. No, 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 uh, Or I have to Good jump job. down? Nope, no jump down. Um, something I Where the fuck is he? There's nothing here, come on. Kaufman wants his taken care of. Hey! Jam the elevator. <clears throat> Such a nice young man coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Arms. Oh, I remember some lit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Sniper rifle. Dangerous liaisons. For candy, press one. For Max Sandy, Spain. press two. For Mona, press three. Oh, Mona. You press three. <laughs> Hi. Predictable, this Max. This is Mona. What's your name? I just. She was literally the to. girl on the. Honey, this is a phone sex line. All we do is talk. Right. It's. How do you fix something like that? How do you make amends? I thought it would help, but it only made it worse. Just give me your credit card number and I can listen to you all night. <gasps> Killing them all only made it worse. It didn't bring them back. Hey, what are you, some kind of weirdo? Sorry, this was... Sorry.
the building trembled as uh, in a seizure. Oh, the sound of an explosion came from the direction of my apartment. What's going on? I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. Hell, they want to clean me out. Coward! See you in hell! Thanks, fella. You saved me. They barred the door from the outside. This is terrible time. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any <laughs> other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows. You know Ed, the janitor. Poor Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. Hmm. Is that what kind of can I do this? Oh wow. Okay, I'm not surprised about that, but I'm quite surprised that you can do something with this. <laughs> you wouldn't expect that. So I think I have to go up there. Or, or it's this. It's one or the other. Mm, oh. Yeah, looks like this is where you need to go. So let's see what's up these stairs. Oh, we came down here? No. But we were here a second ago. Oh, then I took the elevator just to go there from there to there? Whatever. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, I know it. I know it. First, Wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 667. The <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Okay. You stay here. Because okay. the original game, they just scanned the In face of the, of the writer of the game, essentially. I think, or it's the main guy at Remedy. Mm -hmm. 
and then here they seem to have like changed it up but by doing that it became more generic and my lies and my only you can kill whoever you want in this game yeah you can literally kill whoever you want it doesn't give doesn't matter So what did he give me the key? I wasn't paying attention. I'm telling you, I understand what she did, but I don't condone it. The same thing. It's the same thing. It's not. I get what she did and why she did it, but that doesn't mean I think it's okay. You get it means you condone it. I understand you're an idiot. I don't condone it. And you look like maybe they were entitled some perks, such as the gun. The gun it'd be packing. Oh, are you referring to the thing you are I think you're referring to? <laughs> Mike Mate's gun. <laughs> that guy is such a dumbass. <laughs> Oh my god, did I laugh that day. And I laughed, and I laughed, and I laughed. <laughs> so... <laughs> Maybe not, but god damn it. <clears throat> so... To do now. Okay, I need to go to the last floor, I guess. That's what they said I should do. Seventh floor. Oh, oh come on! I really thought that was it. I only have 15 bullets on this. Okay, so it's not this, it's not this. Going back in the elevator. to laugh to somebody who shows his ding dong on the internet that's just fucking stupid that will haunt him till the end of this day of his days the guy wants to have kids <clears throat> do you realize that he wants kids and he doesn't have them and he, he's putting himself on the internet like that it's just so fucking dumb at least I'm trying to have some kind of decency in my legacy here so if my kids watch my streams they won't be like what the fuck was that thinking my dad is a dumbass <laughs> he gives a shit about the size of his dick So, <laughs> what do I do now? <clears throat> Going back well, to see the guy. Mr. Fancy Pants. Hey, saving the project. Thanks for the follow. If uh, I would have uh, paid attention to what was going on, I would know what to do next. It is entirely my fault. I will take full responsibility. 
for me being stuck in the game that I'm playing, I will take responsibility. Ah, so clearly it's up here. It's the only place I haven't rechecked, but we ch we did check it. Stuck in my max pain. That's kind of kind of fucking lame. Somebody help me here. Somebody knows. It's definitely not there. Take this again. The fact that it takes, it lets me do this. I feel that that's where I need to be. Seventh floor. That we're talking about the seventh floor. But from here, I can only go down. Oh well, let's go down again because I feel like I've been up here. Like, well, I'm just backtracking at this point. was an explosion and then I don't know it jammed the elevator is this new stuff I don't think so Yeah, I'm backtracking all the way back. Ah, what the fuck? <clears throat> Where's my last save? This? I've called the police. They're coming to take you away. Ah, oh, we'll have to do a little bit of... Uh... Redo a little part here, but I don't know. We need to. Go on, so. Go away. So. They jam the elevator. Oh, no, you won't. Get out. Get out. Get out. No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. Okay. Wow, we have to redo all this? Platforming in a Max Payne game. Man, they just couldn't help themselves. The same thing in the first game. Oops. Uh, skip this. My lady, wait. My lord. Kaufman wants us taken care of. Let's just find a guy so we can off him and go. The jam elevator. So 
se fait vaguer. Hein. Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. Yes. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With yes. all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be... Yes. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping Tom. The bathroom is here. Oh, I remember Sunday days in the countryside with reason. my bed. <coughs> or was that she something I saw on TV? Oh my god, fuck you. She's supposed to open this door. Fuck. Eh? Oh no, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't open the door now. There's like three uh, med kits in there. Fuck you. God damn it. The fuck's up? I found the sniper's hideout. The building trembled as in a seizure. The sound of an explosion came from the direction of my apartment. So I have to go back to my apartment. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, my god. oh crap! Damn! Okay, so clearly this is what. Sweets. They I weren't an improvement code. on the regular apartment. Oh, uh, maybe now I have the code? Okay, let's reload the quick save. I wasn't gonna get through without the code. Oh. There you go. <laughs> that works. Ow.
Like a shifting glacier, a new crack appeared with every gunshot. I had abandoned all conventional methods of navigation. I was following the bloody signs he kept leaving me. And he was watching me do it. The next episode of Address Unknown, right after the break in our Return to Sender Marathon. Fuck you. Not dealing with you. I think we're back. The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I want a burning uh, level where I have to run around the exploding building. That's always nice. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have, uh, I should continue these things. This, this one was fine. Down. So up? I don't know. sign of her passage. Job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. Long hours. He was terrified well, something would happen. Open up. There are people trapped in here. Oh, the sons of bitches have locked okay, the I door. Thought, 
above was You coming the to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on more of uh, Freeze, sucker! Ah. They fight with me! Nice. They didn't die? No, no, no. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's go back up. I want to see what's here. And I'll test the AI to see if it follows correctly. Yeah, what's, what's here? The gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. I couldn't get through. Gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. This is the exit, and that's it. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, you do good. I tried. Let's go with the sniper. Zena. Hey, you do your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. <laughs> Eric Zena, thanks for the raid. Thank you very much. I'm a prostitute in New York, possible. A hot prostitute. <laughs> They don't follow. Ooh.
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where I need to go anyways though. So I drop on this and then I drop on this and then I can drop on this and then I drop down. <laughs> This game is much shorter than the first one. I did it six, seven hours, but like I said earlier, it will take more time for me because I hey, keep hey, stopping like to listen to people and listen to their shows and what stuff next? like that. A kid with a bag full of guns. We're and still a head just full on part one. Games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me, about Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners, I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Mona's place uh, was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation... Yeah, it seems part of one it. of Max Payne was a little longer. Is it three-part also, this? But the three parts of uh, Max Payne 1 were kind of... Like, the first part was shorter, the second part was longer, and the third part was shorter, something like that. It was a little out of... You are also not quick saving Oring, which I did. <laughs> yeah, well, I save a lot, but I don't load that much. For now, the game hasn't been too tough. I mean, they left me with my six uh, painkiller from that other mission, which is really cool that they did that. They didn't have to do that. Whoop. Yeah, they left me everything. Everything I had from the last level. I thought in the Max Payne, when you switch parts... Oh, we didn't switch part. we're still at part 1. We're still at part 1. Ah, uh, but we're, I'm still... Uh, I'm gonna call it a night. But uh, according to uh, how long to beat in uh, one or two Let's Play I looked, this was marginally longer than the first one. By an hour, something like that. Like the first one, I think most people finished it at 9, and this one was 12 or something like that. For me, the first game took more like... No, the first game for me it took about 9 hours. The first two streams were shorter, and the third stream was, I think was longer. The third stream might have been almost 4 hours. 2, 2, 4. So 8. Maybe a little more. Hmm, this music is good. But yeah, this is much, much better than Max Payne 1. Um, not necessarily the story. I think I prefer the story of the first game. Which is the gunplay, the graphics. It's smoother. Uh, I mean, it just flows better. The level design is better. It doesn't seem as repetitive, even though you are just shooting bad guys. I know it feels different for now, and and this feels even different than the first game because I did play the first game uh, like two months ago or something like that. Okay, let's raid. <clears throat>
Press Red Kill Gore. There you go. Not for long. Not for long. I don't know what you're referring to. I talk too much. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. Tomorrow we continue Baldur's Gate. We're advancing a lot in Baldur's Gate. Uh, we are right now on uh, the island of Baldur or something like that. Baldur and Island. An island. We might even have the time to start uh, the Relax Tower next time. I'm not sure. Anyway, there must not be more than four streams, max five streams of uh, of Baldur's Gate, max five, and more Max Pain on Thursday. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night. Ciao. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'll buy that.